Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my everyday makeup basket. The last makeup basket of 2020. It's finally here. We're in December. <laughs> wow, this year's been a roller coaster, hasn't it? Oh, to say the least. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than a, um, previous makeup baskets, because I'm about to film an entire declutter series. I really needed to clutter my entire collection. So I want to make this basket as minimal as possible <laughs> and really only pick things I know I'm not going to be decluttering and like put back as much as what's here right now into my collection so I can do a full declutter um yeah so let, let's just jump in all right so it's about time for these mascaras to be good and done um I got the radio mascara and the pixie mascara these will now both be empties the setting spray is almost done so I'm gonna leave it here until it's done I got my cuticle oil I actually got this product in PR through Influencer and Tom Ford. It's an eye duo. It's like a cream eyeshadow on the bottom. And then it has kind of like a matching powder shadow on top. So I'm going to actually move this into the drawers once we get down there. I think we're good with the control free. I think I've got one more month on this brow gel before I get rid of it. Uh, NYX glitter glue. Do I need the glitter? Yeah, I'll keep the glitter glue up here. Um this milani lip balm it actually is like way too pink for me to wear just as a lip balm so it makes me look a little kind of eh. so i'm gonna put that back into my collection for the declutter i'm gonna pull out these eyeliners and lip liners got a nyx black black bean i've got this what is this i got this in my last try beauty box then i got that red lip liner these are tools i'm gonna just move back all the lipsticks I don't think I'm really going to be wearing too many lipsticks. If anything, once I'm done decluttering, I might just pull out a red lipstick for, like, Christmas. Taking the rest of the lipsticks. And then I just have, like, my headphones up here. Um, so I think we're good up here. Let's go to the first drawer. Okay, first drawer. Now, I said I wanted to keep this minimal, so I think I'm going to move the majority of this back into my collection this i'm just gonna finally call this an empty i try to get more powder out of this but there really isn't it's the pat mcgrath labs under eye powder so i'll just call that an empty um i'll leave this maybelline powder in here i do have an, a good amount of pan in it so i would like to have that finished by the end of the month that'd be nice um i'm gonna keep the dermacol i've actually used a lot of the dermacol up which is surprising <laughs> i'm gonna move the rest of these concealers back this primer is, I really want to finish this primer. It's the Milani Rose Prep and Brighten Face Oil, and I want to finish that. So we'll keep that. And then these three foundations, the Collab, the Maybelline Dewy and Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, and then the KVD Vegan Beauty. I'm just going to move back into my collection. To be honest, I might just stick to using the Dermacol this month to keep it minimal. There we go. And then my loose powder, I'm currently using the Cody Air Spun, so that'll stay. I need to clean the drawer, but <laughs> I think we're good there. All right, so I'm going to move all these eyeshadow palettes back for a declutter. So we got the Millennial Pinks, we got the Too Faced Sweet Peach, the Chocolate Bon Bombs. These will all go back up there. I'm going to move in the eyeshadow from Tom Ford. Um, eye primer. I haven't really been using this too much, but I don't have a concealer yet. I'll leave the eye primer here with the My Brow product. Um, highlighter palette, I'm going to move this back. I'm hoping to pick just like a big face palette, multitasking face palette. Um, oh, this is open. <laughs> I'll move the single shadow back into my single shadow drawer. And then this palette is like the last thing I have in my HP Project Pan, so I'm just going to leave that there. There we go. All right, everything here I think can just go straight back into my collection. We've got some lash glues and lashes. Then these two palettes, the Pure Defense Palette and then the Jaclyn Hill Original Morphe Palette. All right, and in our last drawer, I just got a little bit of electronics over here. You know, phone, not phone battery, <laughs> camera battery. And I think I'm finally, no, I gotta keep this because I'm gonna film the last two videos for my pan that palette so i'm gonna keep this in here but i did want to pick like a, a more what's the word like concise like a smaller face palette that i could just really reach for and do everything so i might just pick something like that for this upcoming month wow it looks so empty doesn't it <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna put all this makeup back and then we'll be back to do a minimal shot my stash. Okay, so here we are in my makeup collection. And like I said, this is gonna be minimal, as minimal as I can make it. Um, so I'm gonna skip all of this, really. Um, we've got tape for swatches and I guess I'll just mention it now. I'm odd odds are this is all going to be reorganized by January so we'll see. Uh, nail stuff, single shadows, I'm not going to get any single shadows, these are all eyeliners, I'm going to leave eyeliner for now. Same with lashes, I'm not going to pull any lashes or um, liquid shadows. These are face powders and then bronzers. I really just want to pick a uh, face palette so I don't have to have you know too many things in my everyday makeup basket so we'll just leave that for there. Moving on down, these are uh, lip liners. I'm not going to get any of those. Lip glosses. I think I'm going to leave, this is all lipstick, I think I'm going to leave that alone as well because I want to make sure to like go through and do a good declutter of everything. So I'm trying to leave everything that I like am unsure about here. So let's go straight to the Alex drawers. Okay, so this is the first drawer. We've got all of our like single depotted products in here. A blush palette, some paperwork my wake up wipes. I think we're going to be okay for here for now. All right, so for foundation, concealer, and primer. I've already got that primer I'm trying to pan, and I kind of want to leave the majority of this in here for the declutter. So I think I'm just going to pull one concealer because I don't have a concealer other than like Dermacol. I like these. I'll pull the, the AOA Studio ones because I know I like these concealers. So I'll pull those and then I'll leave the rest in here for the declutter. I don't think I need another foundation. Actually, you know what? I'll just pull this one, the Fast Base Stick Foundation from Makeup Revolution because I know eh, almost done with it. There's only a little bit left and I think I can just go ahead and pan this and this will be best for what might be coming. So let's do that. Uh, I apologize if you can hear Christmas music. Uh, we're decorating today, so there's a lot happening downstairs. But anyway, <laughs> um, I am going to, again, skip everything in here because these are all, for the most part, single highlighters or blushes. And I want to keep them here for the declutter. So we'll leave that. This drawer is mostly empty, but I do need to actually pick up a new <laughs> mascara. I've got three of the Lash Princesses. I'm just going to grab one of those. All right, now for the face palette drawer. I think... I kind of want to pull out the Physicians Formula Butter Box, and I know I pulled it up a couple of months ago, but like, I think for here and now that'd probably like work the best. So I'm going to pull that out. All right, so normally I would pick at least one eyeshadow palette, if not a couple, but since I want to keep these here for the declutter, um, I'm really just going to pull the one that I believe is going to be my Panda palette for 2021. So to not spoil anything, I'm not going to show it or in the basket either. Um, but I do want to keep all the eyeshadow palettes that I can here in order to do um, a full declutter in a week or two. So let me go ahead and put our minimal makeup picks into my basket and we'll be back for the final basket reveal. All right, and here we are with, I think, the most minimal basket <laughs> I've done at least for a long, long time. So not much changed up here. We've got our brow, uh, NYX Control Freak brow gel. We've got our new mascara, which I'm very excited about. And then just the NYX Glitter Glue and not really much else up here. Our first drawer is very minimal, which I can actually move the powders down here. We've just got our Cody's powder, our face powder, Dermacol, the stick foundation, the concealers, and the primer. Next, we have my custom face palette along with the Tom Ford eye color, the color tattoo that I use for my brows, and eye primer over here, and then the palette in my HP Project Pan. For the first time, this drawer is actually completely empty. <laughs> And then in our very last drawer, we have my electronics and the butter box. So that is going to be everything for this December end of 2020 makeup basket. I am so excited for 2021, guys. I cannot even like say, like really, I just, I'm, I cannot wait for this year to be over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're going to be using in December. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.